Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God does truly love the world, but He gave us His only Son. May this love of our God be always with you. And with your spirit. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, a Franciscan conventual, chose to replace a man who was about to die. Because St. Maximilian said, he is a father, he has children, he has a family. And for this, St. Maximilian became a, has become a martyr, one of the saints and martyrs of the Catholic Church. We pray for his intercession. <clears throat> Today's Gospel, <clears throat> our Lord talks about the prohibition against divorce. We pray for families, married couples, that they continue to live out their lives as Christians, as husbands, as wives, and as parents, despite the difficulties that they go through, especially during these trying times. We now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass. We recall to mind our sins, and we ask God for mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will deal with you according to what you have done, you who despised your oath, breaking a covenant. Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you when you were a girl, and I will set up an everlasting covenant with you. Then you shall remember your conduct and be ashamed when I take your sisters, those older and younger than you, and give them to you as daughters, even though I am not bound by my covenant with you. For I will reestablish my covenant with you, 
that you may know that I am the Lord, that you may remember and be covered with confusion, and that you may be utterly silenced for shame when I pardon you for all you have done, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have turned from your anger. You have turned from your anger. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You have turned from your anger. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. You have turned from your anger. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You have turned from your anger. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife or for any cause whatever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning? Your creator, creator made them male and female and said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. He said to him, Then why did Moses command that the, that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning is what, it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so. Some because they were made so by others. Some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I met this couple many, many years back. They picked me up for a Mass out there in Paranaque. So it was a long, uh, though a Sunday, not so much of a traffic, but it was still a long travel in a way. So it was the husband and the wife in the car, together with the three little kids. Right away, you noticed the kids were very disciplined. They were close to their parents. You sense that. And that's more when I was talking to the husband and the wife, you know, getting to know each other and uh, yeah, introducing themselves. And just talking about some things that happened in their families and much more what we are going to do because this is the first time that I'll be with them. 
So they were really on the way to saying a mass, to have a mass with the poor community out there in Paranaque. And they are, this husband and wife, are the leaders of a little charismatic community. So when we reached there, I got to know of the others, dedicated Catholics. Simple, yet you could see, uh, sense so much there, dedication to what they do. They've been doing that for years already, and it just so happened that I was invited for that Sunday. So we had the Mass, everything. They had a little catechism. They fed the, little, the children, and we went home. Again, we continued the stories and the sharing in the, in the car. And that eventually became a monthly affair for me. Once a week, I would go. Once a week, once a month. One of the Sundays, I'll go there. Soon after, maybe after a year, I was transferred to our seminary in Tagaytay. So I didn't have any contact with them till after some years. I think it was the wife who contacted me. Father would like to make a recollection there in Tagaytay. I said, okay, I can offer our retreat facilities here in the seminary. Okay. So they came to arrange that. That became also a yearly affair. So when, then they always come some months before the proposed date to talk with me, arrange things, who will be the retreat master, usually the theologians or seminarian theologians. And uh, one time, they came, as usual. I noticed right away something wrong with the husband. He was walking so slowly, going up the stairs, and much more when he sat down and he talked. He spoke. I could hardly understand him. Father, I had a stroke. I'm still in therapy. Okay. So the time that they had its recollection, I had a chance to talk him, to him personally. Shared his frustrations. At the same time, he knew that, uh, you know, especially losing a job, high-paying job, that, of course, caused so much stress in the family. There were arguments with the wife and the children, something that rarely happened before. But still, they stuck with each other, with the wife, with the family. And much more, of course, said, Father, if wala po itong pananampalataya, I think I'll give up. Of course, I just encourage them to go on. And uh, so the next years came, and then another year came, and they came again for the recollection. Noticed the wife having a bandana. I felt I feared something, and Bentoli was confirmed and said, "Father, I'm I have cancer." Not uh, at first stages, pa naman, Father. Okay. okay, so of course I promise her my prayers. Okay. But again, the same kind of uh, words that came from them. This has made us, our sickness, my sickness, and my husband's sickness before, has made us closer to each other. And it's in our faith in God and our community praying for us that has made us just go through all these storms in our lives. Then uh, the last time I had, uh, because I was transferred now, I had time with them, was celebrating their anniversary of their group. Hmm. I'll share something about it later. But anyway, going back to their story, I can see, I've seen two reasons why they have stuck together. The love that they have for each other, for the family, of course, for the children, who I'm sure have grown up now, and the faith that they have in God. This became a refrain in these two wonderful people when they swear sharing to be, especially as they were going through those difficult, very difficult times in their lives as husband and wife, as parents, as married, as a married couple. Love they have for each other. Then I realized 
You know, the words that they say, and we as priests witnessing, through sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, I said to myself, how apt and appropriate were these words for this couple. Richer for poorer, they, they became poor because the husband lost his job. They became sick, but in spite of that, they hold on to each other. Secondly, because of the faith that they have. I always tell people I wed, the, the couple, the bride and the groom, who are about to be wed. One of the most important pabaons that I give them is this. Make Jesus the third party in your life as husband and wife and as parents. Make him the center of your family life, of your married life. Make him the third party in your love triangle. Love triangle that is very positive. There's no wife, that's not love. If there's no husband, there's, that's not love. Much more, if it's only husband and wife and no Jesus or no God, that is not marriage. People who have lost God in their lives, in their family lives, whatsoever, we would expect that soon there will be problems and difficulties. Wala pong pinanghahawakan eh. Nothing solid in a way that they can hold on to. That's why husband or wife could go into other idols, money, work, other people, immoral relationships, vices, etc., etc. Wala pong Diyos eh. Love for each other, faith in God. To you, my dear brothers and sisters who are married, maybe it's good to look into your own lives as husbands and wives, as parents. Is there, are they still existent? Yung pagmamahal niyo sa isa't isa at sa inyong mga anak. Pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Ito po, ang ika nga, glue. Magiging glue na siyang magpapatuloy ng inyong pagsasamahan ay magiging matibay kahit ano pa mang bagyong dumarating sa buhay. I was talking about the last time I saw them. This was years, years back. When they celebrated the silver anniversary of their group. I think it was a silver anniversary. So, program started with the Mass, of course, and then Party, party na. As I was sitting down alone, looking at them, these two people, you know, going through you know, the group, talking with, each, with others, and I was just saying to myself, these two people have been my inspiration. How they have lived through the difficulties of their lives, you know. But still, hindi pa rin sila. Very faithful to God, loving each other, loving their families, loving that group that they are heading. Because they have been faithful to the commitment that they have bowed to each other, to love each other forever. And of course, with God as the source or the foundation of that very love that they have. My brothers and sisters, I hope this story has inspired you, as I was saying, to look back, to look into your own lives as husbands and wives, as family men and women, as parents. Nandiyan pa ba ang pag-ibig sa isa't isa? In spite of all the years that we have gone through, much more, nandiyan ba si Pang- sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo? Siya pa ba ang pundasyon ng buhay ninyo bilang mag-asawa? bilang mga magulang. Guaranteed. There's love, there's faith in God. You will go through anything 
because God is with you. Amen. Prayers to the faithful. Husbands and wives share in God's creation of new life. Our intercessions today center around the needs of parents and their children. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may effectively teach its members the true dignity of marriage and help couples to stay together in their sacred calling, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders and legislators may enact laws and policies that build families rather than destroy them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That families broken by divorce or separation may find support and understanding from people in their communities, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer that those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitments, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to weather the, this coronavirus pandemic physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, May we all be protected from contracting the virus and giving in to fear and panic, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That deceased relatives and friends may have the joy and peace in God's eternal home, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, you created us male and female to continue your work of creation. May our love for one another reflect your indwelling presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that we that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We present our oblations to you, Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of St. Maximilian, to offer our very lives to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. 
to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. The very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love and when as once were the disciples who now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the light of the Last Supper, he took bread and gave, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we when, when we eat this bread and drink, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord Jesus, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look in favor on the oblation of your church, in which to show forth the past sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesse, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, 
with St. Maximilian Kolbe, did all the saints, Saints Arnold the Joseph, and the Saints Maria and Josepha, the SVD martyrs. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Coming together now as God's family, let us with one voice call on our Father. Our, our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace us again peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, there, my Lord Jesus Christ, the foundation of married life, foundation of the love between husband and wife. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you that should, should enter, enter under, under my, roof, my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that Saint Maximilian received from this holy banquet. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata. <clears throat> God our Father, we, we come, come to you in our need. need. To ask, to ask your, your protection, protection against, against COVID-19 COVID that has disturbed and, and even claimed lives. We pray that, that you guide, guide the people, people tasked to find, find cures for this disease and, and to stem its, its transmission. Protect, protect the medical, medical experts that they minister to the sick with confidence, confidence and, and compassion. compassion. We, we pray for, for those afflicted. May, may they, they be restored, restored to health soon. Protect, protect those who care, care for them, them 
grant eternal rest to those who have died. died. Give, us Give us the grace in this trying time, time to work for, for the, good the good of all, all and to, to help, help those in need. We implore, implore you to stop, stop the spread of this virus and, and to save us from our fears. Grant, grant all this through our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, your, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit one God, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We apply to, to your, your protection, O Holy, Holy Mother of God, do not, not despise, despise our petition in our necessity, but, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious, glorious and blessed, blessed Virgin. Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Prenademus, pray for us. Announcement. The following will be the updated schedule of our devotions integrated in the 6 p.m. Masses. Monday, Devotion to the Holy Spirit. Tuesday, Devotion to Christ the King. Wednesday, Devotion to Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Thursday, Devotion to St. Jude Padeos. Friday, Devotion to the Sacred Heart. Saturday at 5.45 p.m., Devotion to Jesus, the Divine Word. If you wish to offer your intentions in our daily Masses, fill out the form at bit.ly slash shrine intentions or email us at shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word at gmail.com. Other announcements and online reflections are posted in the Shrine's Facebook page. Help us sustain our online liturgical services. You may send your love offering through the following accounts, RCBC, GCash, and PayMaya. Thank you, and may God bless you always and in always. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and in the love of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Yeah.